But on the subject of depression, so John Fetterman has been, uh, that's a really horrible segue, by the way, but <laughs> nonetheless, John Fetterman, uh, genocide supporter, um, Israel sycophant, he's talked about depression quite a bit and has been commended for it. And one of my critiques about him has been, aside from the Israel stuff, has been that he doesn't ever offer policy solutions. He's a U.S. senator. And so I don't want to hear how we should talk about depression and, you know, raise awareness about it. Like, that's not your role. You're a U.S. senator. You're a policymaker. So what policy prescriptions are you offering? Well, guess what? Since May is Mental Health Awareness Month, he has finally offered legislation. And on CNN, he's coming to talk about said legislation. And I'm going to share my thoughts on this legislation. But let's hear from him and have him discuss it. Last year, Fetterman checked himself into a hospital for treatment for depression. Here's what he told CBS about that experience. The whole thing about depression is, is that objectively you may have won, but de depression can actually convince you that you actually lost. All right, Democratic Senate. And a lot of people at first, you know, this was when he was first elected. We were like, OK, you know what? It's actually really cool that you're sharing this because, you know, lawmakers don't usually share this part of their lives. Uh, and that's just real. It's human. Right. And so a lot of people, you know, in the aftermath of the election, when people were still kind of riding high on Fetterman, we were like, OK, cool. You know, the next step logically would be for you to introduce legislation to help other people and not just talk about yourself. But um, in this segment where he's supposed to talk about legislation, as you're going to see, he just talks about himself. But there is legislation. But let's let's hear him out. Senator John Fetterman joins me on set now. Senator, very nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Yeah, it's great to be here. Yeah. You're doing this with Senator Tina Smith, who also came forward and talked about her own struggles with mental health. How do you think what you're planning would help others? And it also it's something that people still seem to feel the need to keep to themselves a lot of the time. And you have really set an example in talking about it. How has that changed your life and how do you hope it will change other people's lives? Yeah, well, we want to make it a national conversation as well. And it's got to be bipartisan because it is. Now, it's okay. not just a red county. That's the first disagreement. It doesn't have to be bipartisan. You could just create legislation that's not bipartisan. And if Republicans don't support it, then you attack them for it. But that's, you know, a small gripe or a blue county kind of is it's for for everybody and if, if it's not you it's probably someone that you know or you love or you work with or whatever that needs that kind of a conversation and just yesterday i i had a, two student groups uh, visiting in my office and and two people re referred they're like yeah your your conversation last year helped you know me and i decided to get help in that and that's the reason why i'm doing that's why i'm okay again cool but Having a conversation about mental health, this is something that influencers can do. Again, this is a man in a position of power. So he shouldn't just be an inspiration for people to seek help. See, the problem is that people don't have access to help. So the question is, how do you use your position of power to make mental health care more accessible? Medicare for all? I doubt he's going to support that. Uh, a public option. I mean, even some neoliberal means tested thing. What's the solution? Are we getting to that? We'll find out. Happy to be here today to just say, hey, we have to normalize that. And it's OK to have those feelings. But it's really important uh, to go out and get help. Do you think some of this is Kay. generational? Uh, let's, I mean, you're honestly one of the younger members of the Senate, an august body, though it may be. Yeah, well, old, old, I mean, uh, young, young does really, it's very relative in, in our town. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but, 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 but I will say that it's, it's an important conversation. And, uh, and when I first. Uh, okay, I have to pause it again. You're a senator, so I need more than conversations, right? It's, it's great that you're encouraging people to have conversations, but what's in this legislation? How are you going to make sure people who need health care, who acknowledge there's a problem, seek that out and get it? If they want it, how? Signed in to Walter Reed. Um, I, I thought this could be possibly the, the end of my career on that or it'd be very damaging. But but after that, I got very lucky. You know, I was able to get help and was able to get better. So I wanted to pay it forward. And I wanted to take that platform that I have to, to talk about it for, for everybody. And whether it's uh, a judge uh, in uh, Texas 
she visited and she said, hey, it was your conversation, I got getting help. Uh, and I've met people regularly and hear that. So it's a national conversation. Okay, we're having conversations. You've inspired so many people. What the fuck is the solution? We are now, what, like a couple of minutes in? Uh, three minutes in? I fast forwarded a little bit for the monologue, but what the fuck is the solution? You're a policymaker. Get to it. And I'm just grateful to be here today because a little over a year ago, I emerged from Walter Reed, and uh, I'm going to be talking about this. Um, so one of the things that can be really challenging for people who are trying to address this is insurance coverage. It's hard to get for mental health Here we go. challenges. How Look. would what you're doing today try to help that? It's, it must be so, uh, so difficult. I was, I was very fortunate. I was able to turn to Walter Reed. Of course, that's not going to be a lot of people. Uh, so right. we need to expand those resources. And also, How? There, it must be pretty hard to even if you have insurance for that, it's just to get on the docket for a therapist mm -hmm. to Correct. talk to people as well. What do we do? So uh, I think we really need to uh, address all this again. And that's why I'm having it in a national perspective, not just a state one or a, a local. Uh, I think we need to make sure that is part of health overall. That So it's not separate mental health and physical health. It's all just part of overall health. Yeah. So Brilliant. How the fuck do we do that? See, that's that's the question, and he's not answering it. So what is in the legislation that you have written? I know what's in it. I'm not going to reveal that yet because it's comical. But how exactly do we do these things? So, Senator, uh, we had some news earlier in the show about Senator Bob Menendez of New Jersey. And that's it. So they're moving on to a different subject. So he has the opportunity to promote this legislation that he just – created with um, another member of Congress. Uh, who is it? Tina Smith? I can't remember. Anyways. And he doesn't talk about the legislation. He talks about some of the difficulties with mental health care. Talks about himself quite a bit, which he loves to do. Didn't actually say what's in the legislation. Now, before I show you what's in this legislation, take a guess. What do you think it's going to be? Like, um, do you think... It, the, the, I think the obvious solution, if, I, if I'm a U.S. senator... Medicare for all. That's easy, right? That is comprehensive. We expand and improve Medicare, make sure everybody can get it. And then that includes mental health care, as well as dental vision, because we shouldn't leave out parts of our body. All of it should be covered. That's part of health care, right? So I'm, I'm just pushing Medicare for all. That's easy. And I'm pushing uh, Medicare for all as a means to help people get the mental health care that they need. But, I mean, it's John Fetterman. So, of course, he's not going to go that far. So, maybe a public option. A public option specifically for mental health care where people can buy into a government plan to get mental health care. Mm, that's probably too far even for him, right? Okay, well, what about some type of policy mandating insurance companies cover mental health care and you have subsidies for low-income people? Ah, uh, he's still not even doing that. That's not even what's in this legislation. Do you want to know what this legislation is? Nothing. I kid you not. This legislation does nothing. All it does is it establishes a commission, a commission on mental health tasked with providing Congress and the president an independent expert policy recommendation to improve access and affordability of mental health care services. Guys, he's just creating a fucking commission to study mental health care. That's it. This is worse than anything a, a fucking neoliberal corporate Democrat think, think tank can cook up. Because he's not even saying, here's a policy. He's saying, here's legislation to create a commission to do more study. What, what the fuck do we need a commission for? We know what, what's needed. We know that people need mental health care. And there's a crisis in this country. There's lack of access. It's too, un, uh, too unaffordable. So fix that. What, what more do you need to study? What exactly do you have to study? And here's the thing. Let's say that this commission, uh, it's like, hey, you know what? 
we're done. The conclusion is mental health care should be free. That's the only way to solve this. And this is hypothetical. That's not what they're going to say. But just for example, they, they say, here's our recommendation. Well, Congress can then, then say, thank you. Take that recommendation, dismiss it, and then never talk about it again. So after all this time trying to be the mental health care guy, his signature policy with regard to health care is a commission. A fucking commission. What a useless piece of shit. I mean, you might as well fucking do nothing because that's what this is. A commission isn't going to do shit and it's unnecessary. Even if this commission turned out to be really, really uh, progressive and they're like, no, we need Medicare for all. That's the only way to solve it. It's just going to make policy recommendations. Okay, but why do we need policy recommendations when we know what to do? This has been studied extensively. The American healthcare system has been studied extensively. There are countless organizations that know exactly what you need to do. But he's creating a commission for more studies? I mean, what the fuck is the point? See, this is him. He's basically trying to pretend like he's doing something when he's done nothing and he could say well i established a commission and uh nobody can criticize him because then he can go back to talking about himself and his mental health struggles while doing jack shit for normal americans and he acknowledges that you know he was able to um he was able to check himself into walter reed a lot of people they don't have the resources to check themselves in to rehab if they're experiencing depression so he knows that there is issues for normal people but he's like, here's a commission. Now shut the fuck up. Let me get back to talking about myself. Yeah, I was depressed. Listen, I don't care about your depression, John Fetterman. I don't give a shit about you, okay? I care about normal people who don't have the money that you have, who don't have access to the healthcare that you have uh, access to. But like, I love that the commission is already limited in like what it could recommend because it's supposed to make expert policy recommendations on how to improve access and affordability to mental health care services. So the best that we get out of this commission is like them saying, well, listen, we should expand Medicaid uh, in, in certain states or expand the eligibility pool of Medicaid in certain states. It's so, it's honestly laughable. And I genuinely find this insulting. The fact that he would come up with this after having a year to draft something, it's honestly just insulting. If I were his constituent, I would feel like this is a slap in the face. If you care about mental health care and you need mental health care and this is what your senator comes up with, that's just insulting. But this is his press release. This is from his website. And let's just, let's read a little bit, okay? Because I love how he's pretending like this is some big thing. What a fucking con. But he's pretending like this is a big thing. So today, U.S. Senators John Fetterman and Tina Smith introduced the United States Senate Commission on Mental Health Act of 2024. So brave. The bill would establish a U.S. Senate Commission on Mental Health tasked with providing Congress and the President independent expert policy recommendations to improve access to and affordability of mental health care services. Before I sought help, oh, he's talking about himself again. Before I sought help for myself, I was the biggest cynic, but it truly worked. Okay, I feel like we're past the point where you have to sell people on the efficacy of mental health care. Um, a lot of people acknowledge, yes, I have depression, I have anxiety. But I can't do shit about it because I can't afford it. My insurance doesn't cover it. I can't see a therapist. It's too much money. But he's like, no, 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 you guys. Trust me. Mental health care is fucking awesome. Brother, we know. We, <laughs> we know it's real health care, right? We're not talking about homeopathy. It's real. That's not the issue here. This isn't 1992 where we pretend like, you know, mental health care isn't a thing and it's all in your head. We know. But this doesn't do shit. But he just, he just he loves talking about himself. Mental health challenges impact people across Pennsylvania and the country. From our reddest count, uh, counties to our blue... No fucking shit, really. People in red counties and blue counties have health care problems and mental health care problems? God damn. Genius. How does he, how does he know this? <laughs> like, I'm being a dick, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just so pissed off that we get a fucking commission legislation for a commission that's probably not going to pass even so it's, it's beyond useless 
But from but listen, this is like when you're trying to pad up uh, the word count when the essay is like, okay, it's 500 words and you just try to say everything you can to get to that 500 word count. When I used to, you know, edit essays and, and grade papers, um, I could see when students are doing this. Um, and this is what John Fetterman is doing, you know, uh, from our reddest counties to our bluest, from our biggest cities to our smallest towns. I mean, come on. Come on. I'm committed to ensuring that everyone suffering from mental health challenges has access to the same resources and treatment that I did. This bill will help make that a reality. No, it won't. It literally will not do shit. Shut the fuck up. And then we have Senator Smith. Mental health is just as important as physical health. Yeah, no shit. Okay, now he's talking about himself again. His decision to openly seek treatment. What? So brave. We get it. You're brave. Congratulations. I just woke up the kitty clapping. But you're brave. Cool. You did it. You sought help and you made it through. Stop talking about yourself. Holy shit. I, I hate him so much. So the commission's first year of study would focus on the following topics. Coverage of mental health care services, including mental health parity requirements under federal health plans. Reimbursement rates for mental health care services with regard to mental health care providers. Workforce challenges, including barriers to entering this field and challenges faced by mental health care providers, including factors that contribute to burnout. I mean, this is nothing. They're covering such a small area as well that it's just it's so useless. It's so useless. We know what the solution is. We don't need another commission. OK, now there's just more stuff. Yeah, that's uh, John Fetterman's big health care legislation a commission to um, study some stuff rather than just doing what we know we need to do to make sure people have the health care that, uh, that they need.